Now we'll move on to the topic two. That's about structure and uh, functions of a trade union. How exactly the trade union formed a structure and what exactly they do by you know probably implementing a trade union in practice and practices. Now let's look at the functions of a trade union. Uh, the basic function of a trade union is to protect and promote the interest of the workers and conditions of their employment. That's a major kind of an objective. And if you look at the trade union, they does a lot of functions. Uh, you know, basically five major functions have been identified. The first uh, kind of a function is your militant function. Militant functions, uh, which more on how they try to, you know, probably enforce enforce many things and make sure that things are going on the right direction. And the second one is your fraternal function. The third one is your social function. The fourth one is your political function. And fifth one is your ancillary function. So now, now let's look at each of this function in detail. Coming to the militant or a protective kind of a function, uh, the idea began uh, the militant or a protective function. Basically, you know, through showing that protection or through you know probably uh, the kind of a way they oppose they try to you know uh, get the get the demands get done so that means that that ensures the adequate kind of a wages or it could be for a better kind of a working condition or a better treatment from employers uh, you know they will directly fight with the management in the form of a strike boycotts or you know uh, what do you call it as the it's a kind of an you know uh, lockout and these are the ways actually you know they're garros so these are the ways actually you know they're uh, they try to you know probably uh, oppose the uh, management directly and through that they try to do it and uh, basic idea of doing that is to you know achieve higher wages and a better kind of a working conditions and most of the time it is actually you know raise the status of a worker as part of the industry and it is basically to protect the labor against uh, victimization and injustice so to you know probably protect from all these things uh, they used to go ahead with a militant or a protective kind of a function the second kind of a function is a fraternal function fraternal function is basically you know in terms of your financial and non-financial uh, assistance to workers so when we talk about financial and non-financial assistance it could be let's say in the form of a reimbursement or it could be a kind of a welfare benefits you know they would be demanding those kind of a thing and through that you know they'll try to go ahead with uh, you know trade unionism and uh, providing a financial and non-financial assistance to workers it could be in the form of extension of a medical facilities uh, during a sickness and casualties uh, whenever you know any accident happens in the factory or it could be let's say like uh, unforeseen situation happens it could be a fire or it could be let's say you know individual uh, get affected with the accident in the missions or whatever kind of a thing or it could be let's say like you know falling from the height or you know it could be a crane uh, operations because of that you know the head injury or any kind of an injuries so those kind of an thing and all during that particular time they need to company has to extend the medical facilities uh, you know during a sickness and casualties and uh, other than that you know they the company also should take up a responsibility of providing an education opportunity for the wards of the employees and creating a recreation and in it entertainment part of it what you call the community center and other than that you know housing facilities for the large scale of employees in the form of a quarters or what you call the township so these are the ways actually you know residential facilities they'll be demanding and social kind of a uh, thing they will be demanding it's more of a non-financial whereas the financial thing directly you know providing a medical assistance and these are the ways and the provision of a religion and social benefits it could be a religion and a social benefits it could be let's say like you know kind of uh, uh, whatever kind of a faith they have it could be on any kind of a religion you know the the uh, the way uh, they build a temple for all the religions and try to you know provide uh, kind of a social benefits uh, in terms of let's say like you know provident fund or uh, you know the social security and retirement benefits and other than that you know try to build up a kind of an area where park and uh, gardens and other things are there so these are the ways you know they expect some kind of a social benefits and other than that they encourage sincerity and discipline among workers and uh, you know uh, to enforce the sincerity and discipline among workers they try to you know look at it and other than that they provide an opportunity for overall promotion of the entire employee fraternity and the, the growth aspect of it so now let's move on to the other functions uh, your social functions carrying on a social uh, service activities like you know discharging a social responsibility in the form of let's say like you know uh, try to provide a better kind of an you know drinking water facilities or it could be let's say like a better kind of a washroom uh, 
you know restrooms uh, you know constructions or it could be let's say like continuous basis you know some kind of an education uh, been provided through setting up an education institutions and other than that you know it could be let's say like uh, you know uh, continuous kind of hospital constructing an hospital and then trying to serve the employees at a very very lower uh, kind of you know uh, what you call it is charges so these are the ways actually you know the sustainability thing they will be expecting and uh, they expecting certain kind of a social developmental activities uh, through a csr kind of an activities corporate social responsibility and other than that political functions also you know have been done by uh, trade unionism like uh, uh, you know they will be affiliated with a strong political party and uh, through that you know through the political party they try to you know enroll the members and ultimately even in the national level political uh, you know event they'll be participating they'll be collecting donations and seeking and helping you know political parties during the strikes and lockouts and these are the ways you know they try to does the other function so other than that you have an ancillary function ancillary function is communicating the trade unions about uh, the activities programs and decision achievements and etc through publication of a newsletter and other than that welfare activities like acquiring of house sites construction of houses establishment of cooperative housing societies and organizing a training activities uh, to help the employees you know learn better and uh, other than that you know education facilities to the members and their family members and conducting a research program to, uh, you know arrange and conduct a research program collecting and analyze data information to you know collective bargaining and preparing a notes of uh, you know union officials and uh, let's look at the types and structures of a trade union and according to the purpose for which they are established uh, there are you know different kind of a types of trade unions they they can form it could be based on the wage or it could be you know for the social strikes or it could be for the you know various other kind of a thing there are different types of a members are involved so based on the type of a members uh, you know you can form uh, different kind of you know uh, types or structure of a trade union one is your reformist and another one is a revolutionary reformers they try to you know reform the existing kind of a policy and then try to try strengthen the relationship whereas the revolutionary they try to bring in completely you know the change in the thinking process so that's the way if you look into a trade union structure you have a craft union craft union is the same kind of an you know uh, the professional bodies or the same kind of a business people join together and they form a trade union that's called it as a trade you know craft union and uh, predominantly you know let's say like mill all uh, textile mills you know uh, employees of all over india come together and then they form the second kind is a general union general union is actually you know all the kind of an organization employees join together they form a union that's called it as a general union the best example is your uh, jamshedpur labor union or national union of uh, you know municipal and uh, general workers so these are the ways you know you can form a general kind of a union industrial union is actually you know workers of different categories form into a union uh, that call it as an industrial union it is uh, uh, it has got a craftsman it has got a skilled worker in one, any one particular industry take an example uh, you have a you know textile labor association of ahmedabad and uh, rakshia you know uh, rashtriya mill uh, mandur sang uh bombay so these are the ways actually you know you can form a different kind of a trade union structure so let's look at which are the principal kind of a trade union uh, movement uh, which is happening at the big way so you must have heard about aituc uh, which is formed in 1920 that's called as all india trade union congress and other than that you have a indian national trade union congress that's called as intuc and other than that you have a hind uh, mazdoor sabha hms uh, in the year 1948 and the center of indian trade union that is called as citu so likewise you know these are the kind of a trade unions that in you know been uh, prevalent in indian market